<laughs> so on YouTube, we have Andrew Assi, which is asking us a question. And uh, he or she says, what is the cheapest for a month, camper van or rent a car and use Airbnb? Thank you. That's a really good question. I do that really is, like it. Yeah. I do really like it. So uh, a lot of people really think that uh, traveling with a camper van in New Zealand is always the cheapest. So this will extremely, extremely, no, be extremely, extremely dependent on the months you're going to be traveling because camper van rentals like almost are multiplied by four in summer. The cost can be, can be multiplied by four in summer. In winter in New Zealand, you can find a camper van rental for around, like, and good camper van rental for around 50 bucks a day, yeah. like rather easily. But it goes up to like 250 to sometimes 300 bucks a day. In yeah, it's yeah. crazy. It's so expensive. So the it's first, like paying the amount to stay in a luxury resort somewhere. Yeah, it gets it goes up super expensive. Yeah. yeah. So it's really important to know which month you're going to be traveling in. Now for camper van rentals, so um, there is like the difference between camper van and car rentals, right? And it's going to be the same in summer. You know, when in winter, so sorry, when in summer, the camper van costs are going to be about 250 bucks. The car rentals are going to be about 110. That would be, that'd be about, about there. Um, and in winter, when the camper van costs are going to be about uh, 50 bucks, the car rental will be about 25, I'd say, something, something like that. So that would be the two options that you, that you weigh right here. So your difference, um, let's say on the most expensive month, um, if you can, by the way, Andrea C, tell us which month you're traveling while you're on the live chat, that'd be really helpful. But uh, let's say we're talking summer right here, um, and we have a car rental of 110, and you're having a camper van rental of 250, that is a $140 difference, right? So that's what you have to play with during the day. So by having a camper van, you spend $140 more, right? Um, so, oh, you're traveling in, in summer. summer yeah. yeah, so that, that's the counting that I'm doing right here. Now, for your Airbnb, it will depend on uh, what type of, uh, what type of, um, like, like, like rooms, yeah, rooms you want, for, yeah. yeah. Then what type of facilities you want as well. But to be fair, about 100, between 100 and 150 bucks is probably going to be what you're going to be paying yeah. per night for two people on the kind of, me to low end yeah right? like that's you're not usually be... the cheapest yeah cheapest options are usually like around 100 to yeah 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 well you're gonna get a good deal when you get it about 80 bucks yeah right um usually it's it's too cheap to be honest uh <laughs> if it's cheaper yeah. than that so that's gonna be probably what you're gonna be paying with the airbnb right um now the thing that you need to consider as well is that when you're gonna be traveling with your camper van from time to time you're gonna need to pay for your camping um camping facilities because you're gonna need to be able to uh plug your camper van to recharge all the batteries you're gonna need to empty your uh your gray waste uh in in specific areas so that means that maybe maybe about if we three to four nights, you will want to spend them in an actual proper campsite mm. where you're going to have to pay for. So for that reason, you need to add that to your cost as well. And that would be between 50 to $80 for two people. Um, so that's the that's gonna be that's gonna be kind of your your weighing right here. So so far right now we are pretty much even maybe a little bit more expensive with a camper van. Yeah. Now the thing with the camper van though is that it will give you a little bit more flexibility because well you don't have any of the checking times you don't have you know you just basically do your own thing because with Airbnb what we found is that you kind of have to organize yourself pretty well to be there at the time you need to be here and be out the time yeah. you need to be exactly. out. exactly <laughs> well you get more flexibility with the camper van. Do you Talk a little bit about Airbnb. Yeah, sure. So, um, well, in terms of how it works. So, yeah, like yeah. how it works and uh, how much you want to pay and everything. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, in terms of cost, yeah, like Robin was saying, usually, um, sort of the low to medium range is around a hundred dollars per night, and that's usually for for two people. It doesn't usually get cheaper if you're just one person because you'll still have to pay for that one double bed. The room cost will be about the same. But always remember on Airbnb, the price that is advertised, you'll always have to add. There's always an extra few fees to pay once you get through 
through checkout. Um, and that really depends on, that really varies between Airbnb host to Airbnb host. Some, some people have all the fees for cleaning and everything at the end, like when you go and check out and then you realize, oh my God, this is actually so expensive. Um, but other, other guys are a little bit more generous and don't add that many fees. So um, yeah, there's always quite, it's usually, the price that you first see on Airbnb is not always the price it's going to end up being in the end. Um, so yeah, in terms of usually when you're going to an Airbnb house, it's usually check-in is usually around after 3 p.m. And then you need to usually be out before 10 a.m. the next day. So just bear that in mind. Whereas in a camper van or you usually, if you're staying in a holiday park, you would have to be out by 10 a.m. But if you're in, um, a, say, a freedom camping site, then you're really flexible. You don't have to be out by a certain time. You just don't want to be staying there for more than two days, as some restrictions are on a few freedom camping areas in New Zealand. But yeah, there's a lot of rules around freedom camping. So we'll make sure to put yeah. um, a link in the description to explain all that. Um, but yeah. yeah, so basically that should help you kind of compare both of them. They're very much even. I just feel like you get a bit more flexibility with the camper van. Yes, you get a few extra costs, but the price difference would be only yeah. like a few hundred dollars on a two month trip. Um, but yeah, don't underestimate how expensive can Airbnb be in New Zealand. Yeah. Um, a lot of people kind of think, oh yeah, they're always going to get a good deal and they're going to stay with locals and this and that. Um, it's not necessarily always the case. Yeah. And uh, it's mostly people that just have the spare when we want to get the money. You don't necessarily yeah, get exactly. the local experience all the time. Yeah, but. I did Airbnb pretty recently for about a week or just over a week. And there was only, I was using maybe about five different Airbnb hosts and only once did I actually meet the host. The rest of the hosts just basically leave a key or they have a spare house and they leave the key somewhere for you to find which is great if that's the sort of experience you want um but yeah otherwise it's not always going to be the locals experience even if it looks like it's going to be when you are looking on the listing yeah yeah so um so yeah, yeah. so keep that in mind anyway so that was uh, comparing uh well traveling New Zealand with a camper van or traveling in New Zealand with a car and then staying in Airbnb. Um, I feel it's very much two different experiences and I hope that uh, we helped you, Andre. So his name is Andre and he's a man, by the way, oh, he yeah. mentioned that. So now we've got to be more context right here. But yeah, um, so yeah, so I hope you're gonna enjoy your trip in New Zealand. If you have any follow-up questions in the comment below, if you guys like what we do, like and subscribe, and obviously check out all the links that we're gonna put below when we're gonna republish this video, because there's gonna be all the links you need to know about Airbnb in New Zealand, as well as about freedom camping in the country.